Welcome to Vlogmas. Star of the show's here. Kara's here, my sister. We're gonna go get some Cold Stone and uh, <laughs> stop. I feel like whenever, you know when you and India are together, you're like always laughing at it. That's how I feel like whenever we are around each other. Like just when I look at you, I like, you make me want to giggle or something. Um, <laughs> See, don't start. Is this the thing? Yeah, that's what Someone told me it was like a rock. <laughs> no, it's, it's, they made, we're getting ready to go skating, but on a fake skating rink. It's not a real skating rink. They use those, um, you know those little like puzzle piece things that you like mash into a floor, like that Lauren had for dance? They like put some of my nice skates on that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know if they, we'll have to ask. Sure. They better let you and me. <laughs> no, I mean, I know they'd allow it, but I'm like, they better. I'm gonna have to get my blade shelf again. That's all right. I haven't used them forever now. <laughs> well, it looks like we'll probably have it to ourselves. We're gonna go into Cold Stone first before we go over to this fake skating rink. <laughs> skate or whatever we do. Because I'm not a skater. Carrie used to skate, and I feel like you still know how to do everything. Yeah. And I'll just be out there like. <laughs> all right. See y'all in Cold Brady told me that I look like I'm wearing a sleeping bag. <laughs> I look like I'm wearing a sleeping bag and you're wearing a half sleeping bag. That's yeah. cute. I like Thanks, that. Sarah's mom got it for me. That's oh, cute. She got me another coat too, didn't she? I felt bad because Sarah doesn't have a coat. Her mom <laughs> bought me two coats. You're like, I'm just going to keep these. But I don't know if she bought me them or if she, because they had the tag on them, but she mm. might have bought them for herself because we're kind of similar in size. I don't know but, because if you, if the tag's on them, like she could have returned them. True. She probably bought it for she you. She has another one, a white one that she wants to give me. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Sarah, but Sarah was always like, can I borrow your coat? I'm like, yeah. I feel bad <laughs> because she didn't have a winter coat. She, can she not fit your uh, your Sarah's like a stick. <laughs> oh, so she's like a smaller one. She's like that's this, her roommate, like by the way. Small, small. <laughs> we're getting ready to go into the skating rink. There's no one in here, so we're gonna start the party. It has a little <laughs> Polar Passport Express. <laughs> well, it's closed. <laughs> well, they're not open till five, so technically they're not. They didn't close early or anything. Kind of janky. Yeah, <laughs> it was. It was a little bit. <laughs> I feel like so. I only saw it at night. And I think it's pretty it, it was night. pretty at night, yeah, because there's like lights everywhere yeah, during you can't the day. See the puddles. Right. During the day there's literally like water puddles and stuff. And I'm like, okay, we might like slip, fall, and hurt ourselves. So we're gonna go to the actual skating rink. Uh not tonight, but a different day because that one's a little jink. It's a little rusty. I'd rather pay money for that. Yes. Actual. Well, well you have to pay for that too. So it's like if you're right. gonna pay money, might you might as well. Actual one. Yes, yeah. Oh, person with their little ears. Oh. Alright, see y'all back at the house. But the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas. The first for you and me. The snow is falling to the little nature area to do some walking and I'm realizing how little I get out here it is like such a nice sorry if you guys can't hear me because of the wind but it's such a nice place to walk but I just don't get out here enough and I wish that I did I need to come more I hope that just like encourages you guys to get out to the places that maybe are near you that you like want to go to and you just don't go too often like Look how cute this is. It's just like so picturesque out here. But it was super fun hanging out with my sister. We're gonna try again for the skating rink, I think on Thursday. Um, I think, I'm not 100% sure. It depends on her work schedule, but I think it'll be fun. I love how, like, I don't know, she makes people feel so like seen and welcome. Like we walked into Cold Stone and the workers, I literally wanted to ask her, like, do you know the workers? And like, I knew the answer, so I didn't ask, but the answer would have been no. But she just makes people feel like you know them almost. Like she's just so like welcoming and kind and like everyone she meets just like is obsessed with her because she's so nice. And I feel like that's something I admire so much in her because that's 
like a lot of people aren't able to give people that feeling literally we walked in she's like hey like and they were like hey and she was like oh like this ice cream looks so good this looks good which one's your favorite and like by the time that we left they were like oh my god like you're so fun blah, blah, blah. and she really is and so i just like enjoy like whenever i'm around her i feel like gravitated to that like she's so i don't know just so like welcoming anyway i'm gonna walk a little bit more and enjoy the scenery and the outdoors and then i'm gonna head back home He's literally looking at his own reflection and like working. Um, but it's wild how fast time goes because I told myself, I was like, I am going to read tonight. I'm going to have some time to myself tonight. And that's still definitely possible for sure. But it's 10 till seven and I still need to switch over the laundry, um, fold the load. So I'm trying to catch up on the laundry and I'm obviously about to eat dinner. And it really does take a lot of effort to like make time for yourself. It's really, really crazy. Um, and make time for others too. Like I told you guys, I really wanna make it a point to like hang out with my siblings more. Uh, Mm. and my friends too of course but there's only so many days in the week you know I don't know oh, I could use a nap already <laughs> I feel like as we get older like time just really flies like I mean I'm 30 but I feel like I just turned 30 but really it was like that was like 6 months ago almost These are fire, by the way. Mm, mm, mm. So good. But yeah, I just, um, I feel like the older we get, time just goes by so fast. And like, I've been reading the same book. It's almost been two weeks now. And usually I'm done with the book in a week, but like the holidays obviously are incredibly busy. And I really have to make an effort to take time for myself. And it is so weird to say that because I feel like when you're young, you feel like when I get out of school, when I become an adult, like then I'll be able to like, I don't know, do more of the stuff that I want. And then you realize it's a trap. Like that's not like, that way of thinking is a trap. Like constantly waiting to get to the next point in life where you're like, okay, then like when I have more money, when I get this new job, when I move to this new city, then I'll have more time. That's like so not true. And I just, I think turning 30 made me realize like, whoa, you are 30 and I feel like in the past, not as much anymore, but in the past, I really would be like the type who's living for the weekend. Like, oh my God, I can't wait till Friday, can't wait till Saturday, so I can finally relax. And then Saturday or Friday comes and I like catch up on laundry or I clean the house or I don't know, just like 50 million things that I feel like I need to do. But if I need to like not keep up with laundry, like that's okay. The same for you. Like, don't feel like you gotta, I mean, of course you want to have clothes to wear, but. Mm -hmm. Don't let that come in front of your time 
like your long bubble bath or your time to yourself. I really have to remind myself of this too because even that walk I took, before I stopped to take the walk, I was like, I should probably get back because I need to start dinner so that way I can get laundry done, so that way I can like relax. And then I was like, no, take a like 20 minute walk. Like you are fine. Like if you take 20 minutes to walk, it's like your brain will tell you like you need to do a million other things. So I hope that you take time for you today and not just watching this video and like hang out with me, but like actually finding something that you like love, like a hobby or whatever, and like doing that. Even if it's like watching a show or I mean, I guess this is, is a hobby. I don't know. Whatever is a hobby or something that brings you joy, whatever that is to you, I hope that you do more of that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to wrap some presents because I really need to get some done. And I've been like, I don't want to say behind because I mean, Christmas is coming up. But it's not like here yet. Um, but I've been really in need of like, time to wrap them so i'm gonna wrap them but I'm, i think i'm gonna walk bang first um and maybe take them out see like needs to get out um and then i'll like come back and walk home i feel like usually christmas is a little bit more i don't know like fun i guess for me because i usually turn on christmas music and like rap and do all that stuff like together but I have just been so busy lately so like right now I'm like obviously not playing Christmas music and I'm just gonna wrap like a couple presents and then take Bane I decided I'm gonna walk him actually after I wrap a couple I feel like when I walk him and come back I'm just gonna be like literally dead tired and not want to do anything but I don't know there is a magic to Christmas but I really think a big part of the magic of Christmas is like soaking it in. But then I think that consumerism and like honestly a lot of what Christmas is like based around, which is like gifts and like more material things, which isn't I don't think what it should be based around. I feel like it should be really based around like gift giving and maybe having like more of a service mindset. And then of course, like based around like Jesus and the reason for the season. But I feel like because of consumerism, we get so wrapped up in things that literally don't matter at all. And we end up just like rushing, 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 doing everything like super fast, super quick. We're like, like, I mean, I feel like I get questioned all the time from people who are like, so like, you know, around the holiday season, people will be like, so like, have you finished your Christmas shopping? And everyone's like, no, like, oh my gosh, I have like so much left to do. And like, we're so busy, we have all these holiday parties. And you almost, at least I feel this way, I feel like I just hear so much like stress in people's tone when they talk about those things, but not really like joy for any of those things. They're not like, oh my God, I'm like so excited for this holiday party. Or we're so excited like to go Christmas shopping. It's always like, oh yeah, like we gotta still buy like more for the kids and like we have so much left to do and, you know, I don't know, I love Christmas. It is literally my favorite holiday and I don't think I'll ever get tired of it even though like, we don't have kids or anything. Um, I still like to make that same like magical, fun feeling, but you really have to work at making that feeling. And I think for parents, they kind of make that feeling for kids, like waking up in the morning with your Christmas presents and like, I don't know, just like getting that magical, feeling like of not knowing what's coming. Like when my parents would be like, we're gonna go drive around and look at Christmas lights. And we're like, yay, like so excited. But as an adult, no one is gonna like run down the stairs or run up the stairs and say like, hey kids, like, or hey, Shaughnessy or whatever. We're gonna go and like look at Christmas lights. Like, you know, you can just get wrapped up in the busyness of the season and not actually enjoy it. Um, Brady and I plan on, like today we had planned my sister and I had planned on doing like a little skating day, which I thought would be fun, but it didn't really work out. But Brady and I planned on going to look at the Christmas lights. Um, they have like this little like Christmas light show in Chatham, which is where um, we used to live. And we love going, I think it's like five bucks or something. And you drive through and they have this like 
these lights that um, kind of like coincide with the music that they play. So it's like really cool. Um, and we planned on doing it, but like literally Christmas is around the corner and it's just hard, you know, to make time. So I really, really, really now, but also in the new year, I really want to make more time for things, but also like really soak in things, whether it's like a holiday, a birthday, a trip, um, or just like day to day, like reading or like fun things I like to do. I want to soak it in. I don't want to like miss it. I don't want to get older and like look back and be like, I literally missed all the joy in doing things because I was like stressed or like planning for the next thing coming up. Um, or just doing things I don't want to do. Like I'm still using these, like shears by the way, because I cannot find my scissors and I always forget to buy a pair. I feel like these scissors are the new box cutter because I've been needing to get a pair of scissors since I started like um, wrapping Christmas gifts and I always forget. And now I have a box cutter, but you know, now I'm using these fake scissors. Um, they're like literal, like, I don't know, a tool, like shears or something for like a garden. But anyway, I'm gonna finish up wrapping Christmas gifts um and i hope you guys enjoy this video and i hope it like really i don't know gives you like the sense of like the true meaning for the season and reminds you to slow down um maybe turn on some jazz music maybe your favorite playlist maybe a movie i don't know and maybe you are good at that like if you are good at that drop your tips below and if you're not good at it or you're working on it, um, let me know what you're doing to like work on it and like what kind of things you wanna do when you are able to like really learn to slow down. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.